Oh, we'll open up uh, Dylan Davis, Delaware Gazette. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, the corner made a good play on the ball. He jumped inside on the slant. Um, so my eyes were on the, the linebacker and uh, pulled the ball, went to go throw it to Marvin and just jumped it. Uh, but if I could have it back, obviously, probably just want to burn that one in the ground and uh, live to see the next play because uh, we put our defense in a tough situation there. But, um, yeah. Over to the left, Austin Ward, the podcast. How would you describe what it's like to be in that locker room? Last 10 minutes after coming up short. It hurts. I mean, that's really the only word for it. Um, you know, to, to work uh, that hard for, you know, that opportunity and just to come up a few plays short, it hurts. And, you know, there's no no way around that. Um, you know, so it's it's a tough feeling. Uh, Tim May? Yeah. Tim uh, May podcast? Kyle, at uh, the last possession, were you having a, like a little bit of thoughts on Notre Dame? I mean, here you go again and stuff. Y'all got down the field, a little square into. Jude Fleming was ruled to catch, mm -hmm. whatever. and then on the last play, just take us through that, you know, from your vantage point. Yeah, so defense got us the ball back, uh, down six with about a minute to go, uh, no timeouts, so we knew uh, we had to get the ball moving, um, start off with a good completion of Marvin on the sideline, uh, and then obviously Julian's play with uh, Mech with a great recovery. And uh, obviously, in that situation, um, you know, they knew uh, we were, we were going to have to take a shot down the field to, to get the the ball moving, um, and then uh, looked like they played uh, cover two of the boundary there to join, and then so I went back to Marvin, kind of got hit as I threw, didn't uh, obviously get uh, as much as uh, on the ball as I wanted to, and you know they made a play. Did that drive you y'all wrote were basically the last uh, what six eight plays were runs. Did you did you figure y'all kind of had something going now? I mean, what what was that what was that drive like? Wait, which drive? The one where y'all drove and I think you ran the ball like eight times. Oh, eight straight times. Yeah, yeah the one yeah. scored. Yeah. Um, I think that drive we started with the sack and started second and 14 behind the chains. And then Marvin made a good play, got the first down. Uh, and then I think we just called straight runs after that. The O-line did a great job of moving them. Uh, Trey and Chip uh, obviously did a great job of uh, pushing the ball. And then to cap it off with the touchdown there, that was good. Um, I think that was uh, obviously one of the better drives we had in the game uh, to be able to run the ball like that. Uh, uh, Andy Backstrom, Letterman Row. I don't know. The game just ended, obviously. I'm trying to think for everything. But where can you guys go from here? Are you a leader of this team? What do you say to your guys? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, to be honest, it really aren't a lot of words to, to say in a moment like this. You know, in this one of those games where you put everything in um, and, you know, it hurts to, to come up short. Uh, but we'll regroup tomorrow, um, you know, watch the film, obviously, make the, the corrections on it. But, you know, the, the worst part is that, you know, we kind of have to sit back now and see how everything shakes out. Uh, it's out of our control. Um, you know, but I, I know, like last year, you know, we got a second chance at life there, getting in the playoff, and you know, we came uh, ready to play, motivated. Uh, but you know, we'll see. Like I said, the worst part is that it's out of our control. Uh, Clay Hall, WSYX. Kyle, anything you learned just from being in this environment, the intensity that it measured up to what you thought. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is that games like this come down to one or two plays, and. You know, you prepare all off season, you prepare all year long, and you know your season really comes down to you know a handful of plays, whether you make them or you don't. And you know, I think that just goes to show uh, the margin of error, uh, especially in games like this, or you know, it's so slim. So, you know, obviously not the result we wanted, um, but like I said earlier, I think get back on the film, uh, correct our mistakes, and move forward. Cameron T. Robinson, the Athletic. Yeah, I mean, it was, I don't know how long it was. It looked like 50 plus, maybe even a six year field. I don't know how long it was. Um, and then you went, we had the ball at like the one yard line, two yard line to start that possession. So even to get a chance at points there was a win for us. I mean, obviously, um, you know, three points would have been nice there, but. You know, just to get the, the opportunity to, to put points on the board there, I think was good for us. Um, so obviously, I think you know if he makes it, great. But you know, if not, I don't think anybody batted an eye. We knew it was going to be a fourth quarter game. Uh, 
Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Back. Kyle, Kyle, you were part of a you know, 2021 signing class that you know, had, had so much expectations here for, for yourself, I'm sure. Um, you know, it was a raw stay, but just what do you want to say about what that group has accomplished, and then I guess um, what happens now? Yeah, um, obviously. Uh, like I said, some uh, our future is really uh, not in our hands anymore. So we'll just sit back and see what happens. Um, but uh, in the 2021 class, my brother's been, um, you know, three three years where uh, I felt like we were kind of building to this moment to not get it done. It hurts, but uh, a bunch of talented guys uh, in that group, a bunch of guys that are going to do great things at the next level. Um, but you know, I know. Uh, this one definitely stings because you know this is what you know we talked about when we first got here, and um, you know to to lose uh, on the stage hurts. And one final question, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Uh, so I feel like after the early score that you're playing uphill all game, and, and just your thoughts on Marvin Harrison, certainly in the NFL, uh, the possibility of this being the last time. Yeah, um, obviously the interception is not an ideal way to start off the game. Um, and uh, obviously they scored off the short field. Um, so, I mean, playing a little bit uphill at that point, I don't know if we ever regain the lead. I know we tied the game at one point. Um, and then uh, to your point about Marvin, I mean, it's been – uh, an incredible run, obviously. You know, I love to to get you know another chance uh, to play with them here, but um, you know, I, I hope this isn't the end of it. But you know, if it is, I think you know he cemented himself as one of the best players to ever come through this program. I mean, he's a special dude, and you know, I love that guy. Kyle, thank you very much. Thank you. Folks, I'll see you about getting a couple others in.